it is not grocery store chicken at all. You can tell this is homemade. Mm -hmm. It is hearty, tender, and delicious. You definitely have to try this out. You know, thank you to this chicken for yeah. No, yeah. No, I appreciate yeah. you. So, I know it was hard to do, but thank you so much. There. Everyone, welcome into another episode of America's Best Restaurants. I'm your host, Jay Russell. Now we're out in Silver Lake, Oregon right now. It's under two hours away, actually just from Ben. And believe me, it is worth the trip. You gotta get out here. It's time to saddle up, rustle up some grub, and have some fun at the Cowboy Dinner Tree. Come on, y'all, let's rustle up some grub. Yeehaw! So I just walked in right now, and as you can see, this place is beautiful. I love the rustic feel of this, and I'm going to introduce you to the owner right now. Angel, yes. Angel, you have been working here for a long time, actually, your yes. teenage years. So exactly. how does it feel just seeing this place grow? Um, it's really been an honor to basically grow up in this restaurant, um, being involved with so many customers. Um, I've raised my kids here. You know, my customers have seen me carry my children, you know, <laughs> and then... Um, it's just been fun to watch other customers and their kids grow up here. It's it's, it's quite a unique experience. So I, I bet too, you see them as little kids, they grow up, they come back, they yep. have their families as well, right? Exactly. There you yeah. go. Now, something important here too, America, you guys don't know about, this is the first time I've heard about this kind of experience here. You think that there's gonna be a ton of things on the menu? No. There no. are a couple of things on the menu that you guys do very, very exactly. well. Before we go into the kitchen, can you explain the unique dining experience that you guys have here? Yeah, well, when a customer calls to make the reservation, which we are reservation only, mm -hmm. um, they choose between a whole roasted chicken or a 30 ounce steak. And that comes with salad, soup, rolls, baked potato, drink, and of course a dessert. <laughs> So I always say, keep it simple, stupid. If it works, uh, do it. I, I love Angel, you said, because I wanted to say it, but since you said it, that's what I was told from my mentor. Keep it simple, stupid. Yep. Just go ahead and do People that People like right there. simplicity in a fast paced world and they feel really at home here because of that. And you know, something else is interesting too. I heard that more than 20,000 people come here a year and you guys are turning down more than 30,000 people and people yeah. are setting reservations. <clears throat> next year already so if yeah. you do want to set a reservation i would suggest to go on the website right now but until then we're about to go inside the kitchen show me this process all right come on in let's go <clears throat> so when you come in you're gonna get a choice between iced tea pink lemonade coffee and water and that is it oh sign me up <clears throat> for the lemonade we start off with our um green salad, oh. and it comes with a delicious honey mustard or ranch dressing, of course, both homemade. Okay. Um, the honey mustard's got quite the kick to it, customers really love. Okay, nice. <clears throat> and then we move to our soup. Um, one of our main and most popular soups oh. is our cowboy bean. Okay. Um, it's a pinto bean soup, it's delicious. Giddy and we have started serving a corn chowder that's got quite the talk. So lots of people love this corn chowder. Um, and when you get your soup, if you uh, come around here, it comes with our homemade sweet yeast rolls. Oh. This is a very, very old recipe. Um, Alan Marcy Prom, they are kind of responsible for how popular restaurants become. Oh my this goodness. is Al's grandmother's roll recipe, so you know it's... They look nice and fluffy yep. and plump, and you I You know love this butter. is good. <laughs> yeah, yes. lots of butter. There you go. Um, I'm gonna take you guys out to where we do our steak and our chickens, mm -hmm. but before I'll just show you that we will um, serve a uh, dessert of Marionberry Strawberry Shortcake gotcha. is usually our most popular berries, yummy cream on top. So that's I, at the end. I okay? think America is so excited right now. They're trying to book a reservation. They're calling right them right now, <laughs> <Yeah>. okay? <laughs> So right out here is our barbecue pit. Right. <clears throat> um, yeah. Oh, I could smell it from right here, America. Yes. Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. so this is where we do our uh, whole oh, roasted chicken. Um, and we barbecue our 30 ounce steaks out here. Um, we can fit, how many steaks can we fit on the grill, Brian? We can fit about 75 30 ounce steaks on our grill at one time. So it's pretty impressive. <laughs> 
Yes. This has to be one of the coolest setups that I've ever seen on America's Best Restaurants. I'm well, thank you. I'm so happy we and came And we are here. unique. Yes. We are very, very unique. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Well, you yes. guys saw all of the food, how it comes together, but now you're gonna see it on the dining room table on a plate. We're about to go in and head in and get some eating done. All right, everybody, we're in the dining room area right now, and I'm pretty pumped up to introduce you to the family behind this place. I'm gonna introduce you to their daughter, Nanny, right over there. You already met everybody in the middle. Now, let me go ahead and get started with this. It started in 1992, right? That's correct. You guys took over in 2012, Jamie. Correct. Tell me what was that process like? like kind of putting everything together because there's so much rich history out here. So Angel worked here since she was 14, as you talked about earlier, and, and her folks had it and she, you know, helped them as far as management and all that. And they got to a point they were ready to retire. They talked about us maybe taking it over, you know, and, and uh, I was actually going for some military service and Angel called me and said, Hey, I struck a deal with the folks. We're buying the restaurant. We take over on the first of November. So, <laughs> oh, wow. I said, okay. So, there you go. Yeah. Well, so, I, really, I'm the new guy at that. You know, at now going on 12 years. So. Yeah, I grew up a restaurant brat, so it was easy for me to take over after my mom. It was just do what my mom does. Sure. Because she knows what she's doing, and so that was nice. And you know what, Angel? I think that's kind of interesting too, because the same footsteps you were in. That's basically what your daughter is doing right now too. Yeah. So like Daniel, on your side, since I've walked in here, I've seen you walk in, you know, you're busting tables, having smiles, joking with the crew and everything too. How does it feel kind of like growing up here and then, you know, like you're learning a lot of good life skills mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, I mean, people always compliment me uh, about my people skills and I gotta thank my mom just because now like my mom, I've been here my whole life mm -hmm. and I grew up in the kitchen with her. You know, she used to babysit us while <laughs> cooking for the restaurant and we would run around and so it's been amazing to grow up out here. I've been really grateful for everything. <laughs> Love to hear it. And then also too, like this place has such a rich history too. How is the the history really influenced like the atmosphere and then that unique menu that we talked about a little bit earlier today. Yeah, I mean, 100%, the, the history of the area, the um, ranching um, and farming, um, close community, family um, feeling. We have that with our customers. They just feel like they're at home when they come in here. It just kind of brings them back. Um, and as far as the menu goes, yeah, it's all uh, family style besides your main dish. And of course, a buckaroo never would have eaten a 30 ounce slab of beef on a trail. <laughs> However, that's kind of one of the draws to get people to drive 100 miles to come and eat a meal is, you know, a big, huge steak. And um, it hit, hit the nail on the head. I mean, it draws people out. They love it. They love to come out here and look forward to that big steak and of course, a whole chicken. And, you know, the young teenagers and uh, men will get, um, <laughs> you know, competitions of who can eat it all, you know, mm -hmm. so it's pretty fun. You know, coming out here, it's not just coming here to eat, it's an experience. Yes. I mean, if you're going to come out here, you're probably going to, you know, go ahead and book one of the places. I know you guys, you could stay here. I mean, there's a lot of things that mm -hmm. you can actually yeah. do here. And like you yeah. said, it's the experience. Can you kind of walk me through the experience as soon as you get here? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're pretty blessed, really. You know, we live right next to three million acres of, of forest. You know, with trails all over creeks, springs, meadows. You know, it's really pretty. Here, you know, the state of Oregon has 3,000 known pictographs and 1,500 of them are here in, in Lake County. So to go and see all the prehistoric stuff, you know, like I was telling you about the oldest human DNA in the Western Hemisphere of the world was found here. Mm -hmm. There's sagebrush sandals that were found 9,000 years ago. So we have a lot of, you know, rich history and culture things to do and see and, and uh, you won't get bored. Definitely. Yeah, I guess we really enjoy sharing our culture with with everybody from Portland to a different country. Mm -hmm. And you can do that here. And I think people know that. I think that's kind of part of the spirit of keeping it going too, is sharing the culture. We try to share the love with all of the local businesses. We send people to the local hotels, local cabins, the other restaurants. Um, we, we're all in this together. So we like to kind of um, make that known when people call. Mm -hmm. And what they hear about the most, 
-hmm. is the food. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get to this. Now, go ahead and walk me through that process again. When somebody walks through the door, um, what are they getting, what are they eating? And just kind of explain the dishes to me. I'm gonna start out with this bad boy. You said this mm -hmm. is- Yeah, it's our 30 ounce custom cut top sirloin. So we actually came up with the cut ourselves and we're lucky enough that we have a great supplier that has worked well with us. How is it? <laughs> Juicy, tender, and delicious. You definitely have to try this out. Now, my favorite food is definitely <laughs> the chicken, just like this, not even fried chicken, the rotisserie mm -hmm. chicken right here. Yep. So this rotisserie chicken, like, what, what do you guys uh, do with this here, just to give people an idea? Yeah, um, well, it is actually seasoned in our same dry rub that the steak is. Um, it's a very versatile seasoning, so we love to use it on both. Um, and it is done on a rotisserie. Um, it's very juicy. The rotisserie keeps all the juices in. Yeah, it's not like your typical grocery store rotisserie either. It's not injected with anything. I don't like grocery store chicken, sorry. <laughs> and this it's is not... really just good. Yeah, all this... natural. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it is not grocery store chicken at all. You can tell this is homemade. Mm -hmm. It is hearty. You can tell that, you know, thank you to this chicken for, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. you. So, yeah, I know it was hard to do, but thank you so much. Yeah. Definitely had to have it. And then I love the combination with the yeah. baked potato. You have the beans over here. I tried them a little bit earlier. The beans are phenomenal as well. And then- Corn chowder. Mm -hmm. The corn mm -hmm. chowder, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yes. We were, uh, and the butter, mm -hmm. the butter you put on there. I remember I was in the back. <laughs> so one of the waitresses said, Jay, do you want any butter? And I said, yeah, maybe a little bit. And someone said, you can never have enough no. butter. Yeah, just yeah. do yeah. it. Slam mm -hmm. that bad boy up. So then this is basically what it looked like, America, right here. <laughs> I tore that bad boy up. No, it, it was so delicious. I mean, everything was so good here. Mm -hmm. And then, like you said, it's just, it's an experience coming here. I just don't feel like I'm just sitting down eating type of thing. The way that you greet people, the way that you make them feel. Now, how can people reach out to you guys on social media and keep up with you? Well, again, we are sort of old fashioned. It kind of okay. comes with the territory. You, we do have a Facebook page um, and uh, we have a website, cowboydinnertree.com. Mm -hmm. Has lots of helpful inf information about how to get a hold of us. Um, with our phone number, we're actually all still reservation only, and it's all done on the phone. Okay. Gotcha. So our phone does ring a lot, um, which is why we're thankful we have such good help around. Um, so yeah, social media is really Facebook. We do have an Instagram page, and um, most helpful is our website. But you know what? That's fine though. Yeah. C call in. <laughs> call in. We we write you down. We know you're not going anywhere. There's nothing right. that's gonna get mistaken. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. And make sure you book at least. I think Jamie, you're saying six months. Six the, months out. The further the better. Further. Okay. So if you want to pick your day and time. Okay. And that's if you want to get a cabin. A long ways out. <clears throat> See, and that's the thing too. So when I come back, I'm gonna have to get a cab. I mean, imagine just waking up or not even waking up, <laughs> doing your thing during the day. Four o'clock rolls around, your stomach is growling like a grizzly bear or something. <laughs> you come here, you can eat this delicious food. And the last thing I gotta ask all of you, you can answer this. Danny, I'll start with you. How does it feel to be on America's Best Restaurants? It's actually really exciting when my mom told me I was, that's awesome. Like, when is it? You know, I was really, um, you know, happy that she wanted me to be a part of today, working today. It's incredible. I'm really looking forward to the um, people it brings in and mm -hmm. hey, we, I saw you on America's <laughs> Best Restaurant. There it looked go. amazing, so I called that. That's what I'm really excited for right. the most. Um, I mean, it's always an honor to be able to have your name out any way you can, you know? I mean, definitely humble and thankful in that area. So it feels great. I mean, we're thankful to you guys and the crew and we're thankful to the customer who reached out. I'm not sure who it was, but somebody did turn us in. So we're thankful to them, of course. But yeah, I mean, it's an honor. We love doing this and we're happy to be on the show. Well, it, as you know, we've talked about it. Angel and I are really proud of this restaurant, you know, and <laughs> it, it's our small family business. It, it kind of puts our community on the map. And so it's pretty cool that, you know, we're featured nation or worldwide you know yeah. to, to you know that our little business and community will get that recognition and it deserves that recognition too now i've had dinner i know you guys have a phenomenal dessert and i'm gonna try it in just a moment <laughs> Mm. 
you always know I gotta end the show with the dessert. I had to have a strawberry shortcake, marion and strawberry cake, delicious. I gotta get back on the flavor trail, ladies and gentlemen, for America's Best Restaurants. I'm Jay Russell, I had a rootin' tootin' good time here, and I'm out.